Good afternoon. The Church of England has apologised after an investigation by this programme revealed disturbing safeguarding failings in their handling of a jailed Eastbourne priest. Jonathan Graves was given a 12-year prison sentence three weeks ago for sexually abusing two schoolboys in the 80s and 90s. We discovered the church received a catalogue of complaints dating back as far as 20 years. But bishops did nothing until he was suspended in 2008. Following our investigation, the Bishop of Chichester has convened a meeting of bishops to investigate. Our special correspondent Colin Campbell has the story. He's the Sussex vicar jailed for torturing and abusing children, the priest who continued to work in Sussex churches despite repeat concerns being raised. Commend to God our own memory. Sarah, not her real name, fears Graves targeted her children. She tried to raise general concerns about his inappropriate behaviour in 1997. What did the church say to you when you got in contact with them? They couldn't take my word alone. They could only look at it if there was a group of people. And my response to that was, it's not my responsibility to go on a witch hunt. What did you make of that response from the church? I was very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. The church say Sarah didn't provide enough information for them to investigate in 97. As you admit, you didn't have specific information about sexual offences, you just raised concerns. Could the church have done anything realistically? Yes, I think they could have done. I think they could have investigated. Um, there could have been an open discussion with other people. Uh, but they just did nothing. We've discovered the diocese received another allegation of unspecified inappropriate behaviour in 1999. Further concerns were raised in 2001 after Graves allowed priest Robert Coles to minister at St Luke's without legal permission. Mr Coles, are you ashamed? Are you ashamed of what you've done? Graves knew Coles was accused of child sex abuse, for which he was later convicted. Mr Coles, would you like to say anything to the victims? In 2002, Jonathan Graves left Eastbourne for a job as a chaplain at this independent school in Devon, Grenville College. The Diocese of Chichester provided him a clean, safe-to-receive reference. What exactly is it the bishops don't get? You have one allegation that should be enough for you to take that seriously in your role as a priest, in your role as a bishop. Our investigations have uncovered further worrying safeguarding failings. In 2004, Graves resigned from Grenville College, citing post-traumatic stress. We now know there'd been complaints of inappropriate behaviour relating to children. Despite these complaints, the then Bishop of Exeter, Michael Langrish, gave Graves a clean reference to return to work in Sussex. In 2005, while working back in Eastbourne, Graves was arrested following an allegation of sexual abuse. The church was informed of the arrest, but Graves wasn't suspended until 2008, when a criminal record bureau check revealed further details. We've discovered it was Bishop Peter Ball who hand-selected Jonathan Graves to work here at St Luke's. Whilst Graves sexually abused and tortured schoolboys here in Stone Cross, Bishop Peter Ball was himself sexually abusing vulnerable teenage boys here in Littlington just a few miles down the road. I believe there were senior clergy within this diocese who were compromised themselves. And I think that led to a culture where it became permissible for other abusers to operate more or less with impunity. I think and I believe mistakes have been made. And I think the church needs to stand up and admit these. Have you colluded with other priests to, to abuse children? It seems Graves slipped the net for many years because his behaviour wasn't properly recorded, shared or investigated, leaving children at risk. Well, John and jo uh, Colin joins me in the studio now. And Colin, what's been the response from the bishops involved in this case? Charlie, we've discovered that Bishop John Hind, the then Bishop of Chichester, was informed in 2004 by the then Bishop of Exeter, Bishop Michael Langrish, that concerns had been raised about inappropriate behaviour relating to Jonathan Graves at that private school in Devon in 2004. Now, Bishop John Hind says at the time he be believed the inappropriate behaviour indicated pastoral concerns for Jonathan Graves rather than safeguarding issues. Now, Bishop John Hind, former Bishop of Chichester, uh, has told us that he accepts that this was, in retrospect, 
naive. Now, Jonathan Graves was at the time seemingly suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder after being involved in a train crash. Now, the Diocese of Exeter, they say it is clear that a clean reference should not have been provided by them in 2005, and they apologise unreservedly for that failing, but say that new procedures are now in place to prevent this happening again. And the church says it will investigate these matters. That's right. The Bishop of Lambeth has now convened a special meeting to try to determine what steps need to be taken next. The church has informed us that the group will look at many of the issues raised uh, within our investigation. The Diocese of Chichester stressed that they will support survivors wherever and when.